This video looks at how we can use matrices to describe transformations. Now, if we consider the two coordinates A and B, where A is 1, 0 and B is 0, 1, a matrix shows what happens to these two coordinates. The first column is what happens to A, so A becomes A dash. The second column is what happens to B, so B becomes B dash. They're called the images. So A has gone to minus 1, 0, which is over here. So that is A dash. Whereas B has stayed at 0, 1, up here. So B hasn't moved, A has reflected in the y-axis. So A represents a reflection in the y-axis. So to elaborate this further with a second example, consider B again. The first column is what happens to A, that's A dash. The second column is what happens to B, that's B dash. So A has gone to 0 minus 1, which is down here. And B has gone to 1, 0, which is across here. So what you can see is, is this L shape has basically rotated round by 90 degrees. So we have a rotation of 90 degrees, and it's clockwise. So they're two separate transformations, and those golden rules about what happens to A and B always applies to any matrix. We can also have composite transformations, A followed by B, and we can work out the single matrix to represent this by doing the following. We begin with A, and we follow it with B, and we follow from the left, so A followed by B. That's quite key, that we keep that order. So we've got to work out what B times A is. So if we times together those two matrices, we get the single transformation which represents that. So 0 times minus 1 and 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0, 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 1 times minus 1, 0 times 0 is 1, and minus 1 times 0, 0 times 1 is 0. And the question could be, is what does that represent? Well, this is A dash, this is B dash. If I draw a quick sketch, A dash has gone to 0, 1, B dash has gone to 1, 0. And if you compare back to the original configuration, A and B have basically swapped around, so it's a reflection in the line y equals x.